What's up guys, WebSook here, and today we have the Broadway Junction Tour. You guys have been waiting a long time for this, and the wait definitely should be well worth it. Because not only do we have Broadway Junction, but we have tons of buildings to look at as well, and we have the yard. So, we start at our tour here on Fulton Street and Van Sinderen Avenue. It is currently sunset when I'm recording this video. So, it's sunset in Minecraft. You can see Atlantic Avenue over there. It looks really cool from here. You can even see its exits over there. That's what that is. Those are its exits. That's the mezzanine. There's some staircases down over there. Really cool. So, yeah. There was a just quick glancing view of the whole thing so again that's Fulton Street for reference of where we are so this is Fulton Street you can see kind of sticking up there on the horizon that's Eastern Parkway this is Van Sinderen Avenue it starts here and it follows the L basically to the end of the L down there and Fulton Street just continues there again we have the signs there so let's head into the station so first off I set my render distance to 32 for this one so that's so you know it's a good one. So again, you can see the J platform over there. You can literally see the tracks going like down into the sunset and out of view, which I think looks really cool. I don't have Alabama Avenue built yet. Although if I did, it would be visible from here. And again, Atlantic, and that's the L platform, that's the J, and the A will be under here. So the station is at a severe angle, which is why it is like this, except the J is straight. But the L and A are at the same angle. So, Broadway Junction Subway Station. You're going to read that across. Left to right, left to right. A, C, L, J, and Z. I tried a new experimental turnstile design here. I'm going to go like that for this tour. Nah, no, I'm not. I don't like that. So yeah, I tried a new experimental design for the turnstiles. Let me know what you guys think of this design. The only problem with it is that the trap doors that open when you hit the pressure plate, they don't attach properly, but fortunately they don't break, so they do work. Then you've got this turnstile bank. There is supposed to be a sign here, but I didn't put it because I hate putting signs at that angle. They just look terrible. So entry for the A, C, J, Z, and L. And before we do that, let's get a fresh minecart here. So yeah, two minecart machines there. There might be more in real life, but I don't know where they are. You got a booth here. You can get through two spots, I guess, to give yourself a metro card. So let's enter here. You can see over there, that's where the J, Z, and L are. And over here is where the Manhattan A and C is. And over here, this is where the... Euclid Avenue and Queens AC is. So let's go. Is is the correct pronunciation for that or is it R? This is where they are, this is where it is. This is where they are. Okay, yeah. So this is where they are. So that sign is for the exit of the J, L, and Z as well. Over here, we are now in the A and C platform. There will be no route signs on stations that are this angled because, like I said, Signs at this angle don't look good anyway. So here on the wall, there's a stripe, which is like a purple on blue color scheme. So it's blue accent, there's purple. Really cool. The wall also has tiles that say Broadway Junction. There, we have a blue themed station design here. Broadway Junction, Broadway Junction. And for anybody who wants to stick around after the stations, I'm just letting you know, we're going to walk around the buildings that I placed everywhere, which were meant for scenery of the L and J, but I'm going to show them because I think they look pretty cool. So, you can head up here. This is where the announcements are. The announcements for the A and C, not the best quality. So, fair warning. And they're right here. So, this is the A track. This is a Manhattan-bound A express train. The next stop is Utica Avenue. Here is the C announcement, which I do like despite its quality. This is a Manhattan-bound C local train. The next stop is Rockaway Avenue. So yeah, that was a uh, pretty terrible quality. 
and at the end here it's pretty cool because these like go to 45 degree angle so if you look on the map they kind of look straight almost which i think is pretty cool i was able to do that the middle track you can see the third rail does struggle to connect and keep up with this angle but this is going to be nothing compared to the angle that the M takes. So don't even worry about the third rail here if you think this is a weird looking third rail. Because when the M goes on Myrtle Avenue, that might not even... Honestly, I might not even put a third rail there. But I think I need it to keep it from derailing if it goes fast there. Although, I don't even know if the M goes fast there. But uh, yeah, let's go to the other side. So it says exit, JLZ. Just going to run past that. And let's head over here. So, Euclid Avenue in Queens, AC, and then there's a down arrow. Here we are on the Euclid and Queens side. Same exit sign there. We'll run over to the end of the platform in case anyone wants to see it. But it's pretty similar to the other side, obviously. This station, this like area of the station, is probably the least interesting part. So that's why we're doing it first. Because it's just really an underground express station that only exits out to one side. You can now come down here. And when you get here, of course, there's no exits as I just mentioned. So it says, exit other end of platform. And here's where the tunnel will start. As you guys know, there have not been any other Fulton Street stations built in Brooklyn. So there is no tunnel connection there. And we'll head back up here. And you can see the announcements for the Euclid Avenue and Queens A side. Which are sitting right here. So here's the C announcement. This is a Euclid Avenue bound C local train. The next stop is Liberty Avenue. It's not the worst, but whoever uh, recorded that definitely put it a little bit too close to the speakers. And this is like the opposite of that, <laughs> where it's too far. This is a Queensbound A Express train. The next stop is Euclid Avenue. Yeah. Um, so, exit J, L, and Z. And over here. We'll go up to them. So these escalators don't actually work because of the extreme angle of the whole station. You can just see they just die basically. So you can kind of use them, but not how you should normally be able to use them. You know, you shouldn't have to jump over the wall to get up. And you can see the sunset there. So yeah, it's a J platform. I'm actually gonna turn on the sun. What is it? Is it? Do daylight cycle. Do daylight cycle. True. Oh shit. All right. All right. Never mind. We're gonna keep it because it's instantly just gonna set and become night. All right. So you can see the L platform over there. We'll go over here. We're gonna do the L platform first. I'm saving the best for last, which I think is the J platform, but the L is equally as cool looking. So let's go to the Canarsie side. We've got a nice view out. You can see the cemetery over there. For some reason, the trees started decaying. I couldn't figure out how to get them to stop decaying, so hopefully they don't wither away completely. Maybe they're losing their leaves for the winter or something, but Minecraft doesn't have seasons, so they shouldn't be. You can see the J platform down there and what I think is Conway Street and Broadway underneath. I've got some wires on the side of the J. Look how high up we are. You don't want to fall from here. Probably like four stories up almost. So yeah, you can even see on top of the J. Here, if we go up here, can you see? Yeah, you can see on top of the J's roof. You can see in there, into the tunnel. Really cool. Let's head over down here. I'll show you guys the announcement. Of course, I did not add a Rockaway Parkway bound announcement because there's no recordings of it online. So it's just that. It just says it in chat. Which I think should be good enough. 
I mean, that was the system we used to be using. So over here, you can see Atlantic Avenue. Again, you can see pretty much all the details on it. You can see the, the roof over there. You can see past the roof area, wow. You can see the exits under it. You can see all these tracks that go under and around the L. You can see down there to where we started. It's pretty cool. You can see the crossover. You can look down Fulton Street if you want. I think over here you should be able to. Almost, yeah. So you can kind of look down Fulton Street there or Van Sinderen Avenue all the way to Atlantic Avenue. I don't know what road that is on the left of it. Could it be... Is that Alabama? No, that's not Alabama. Alabama is a little bit later than that. So we're going to go up there. I'm going to show you guys the crossover and we're going to make our way to the other platform. There's a little bit of benches here. You know, just a little bit. These aren't full benches, I guess, because they're sliced up by the angle. There's a window here. Let's just jump up there. You can see out the window. It's pretty cool looking. Another sliced up bench over there. It's just this area here that was created by the stairs. So exit A, C, J, and Z. It almost looks like it's coming out straight here. Like feels like we're walking straight to where the J is. I guess that's how it's intended to be set up, but just because of the angle of the L, the other staircase is all the way on the other side over here. This one, I believe this is where we entered through. Yep, there's the J. Yep, that's where we entered through, so we'll cross over to the other side. So this is the Manhattan side to Manhattan, L, arrow down. And you can actually, in Minecraft, take this all the way to Manhattan. It can go all the way to 8th Avenue. It's quite the journey to get there, but you could do that if you wanted. And over there, you can actually see the next station on the L. That light over there is Bushwick Avenue, Aberdeen Street. We're going to walk over there in a bit after we get through all the platforms. It's a very complex station. You can see the East New York Yard over here really cool it's got these lights sticking up then we're gonna head over here I'll show you guys the announcement as well it's sitting right here this is a Manhattan bound L train the next stop is Bushwick Avenue Aberdeen Street right so that's pretty cool that was the announcement if you guys saw any of my L train full rides you would have either heard that one or the other one can see out here the platform splits off which I think is also very neat see that side connects to the Rockway Parkway band side but the doors don't actually open for it and you can see out here Alabama Avenue would be visible if I had built it but you can see the tracks end right there but pretty soon I might build that and you can see down here it's cool you can see it's the L over there you can see over the J as well. The J has like a hill there that connects to that yard. I don't have that side of the tracks connected, but I have this side and this whole mess of tracks here, which is actually how it is in real life. There's all these weird tracks twisting through each other and all these beams that just look really cool. Then there's even this one that goes from the L all the way to the J. And that is also what this one is doing. So this one is coming up to there and it's connecting from the J down there which I'll show you guys when we get to the J platform in a minute so again here's one last view from the top pretty cool alright now we are going to the J platform so for the J, I had to go and record the Manhattan Bound announcements because I realized that all the Manhattan Bound announcements I had added for the J, I had edited the complete wrong ones and they sounded different from the actual J. So I went out and recorded my own. Hopefully the quality is good enough. I edited the best I could. But yeah, so here is this station house above the J. I was trying to show that you can see up through here. Of course, you can't fly up there in real life, so that's all you're going to see. I'm sure there's going to be some cool effects there in real life when the sun is at, like, 
sunset. That's got to look really cool. Let me just take a drink of my water here. All right. So the Manhattan J and Z will go there first. You got a nice view there of the L train. That's where it rises up in real life. Pretty nice looking view. I'd say that's iconic, but I don't know how well known this station is to people who don't live in this area or in Brooklyn or even use any of these lines here. So I wouldn't say it's iconic, but if you like the subway, then you definitely know about this iconic looking view when the L comes up. So, to Manhattan, J to Broad Street, via Nassau Street Local, C, skip stop to Myrtle Avenue, then Marcy Avenue. I don't know if the sign is exactly perfect, but I think it's very close to how it is in real life. Got the pillars here, they say B-Way Junction, which stands for Broadway Junction, obviously. See down here, to the tracks, the J tracks almost look like their own like separate area because they're so wide. <clears throat> they take up the whole street almost as well and I'll sh I'm just gonna walk over to them and I'm gonna show you where that one track connects to the J from the J to the L so on the Queensbound side right here there's like three switches when the J is coming over from here to go to Alabama Avenue it switches off onto this one and then it could continue here actually and then it would go up to the L as you see there then there is this weird looking area as well you can see over the street so it looks cool from here but you can see the whole East New York yard there which I think looks really cool from here as well I just like the whole view of the yard so now let's go back to the J platform and I'll show you guys the announcements. So we can run across here, get back to the safety of the platform. Again, you can still see Atlantic Avenue there. You can probably see it here in real life too. I know you can see it when you're on the J going towards Alabama Avenue or even coming back from it. You can see Atlantic Avenue, and you can actually see Sutter Avenue too, which I did not know. But I was when I was there today to record the announcement. I actually noticed that you can see Sutter Avenue while you're going from Alabama to Broadway. So that's pretty insane. You can see the cemetery over there. I believe this is Forest Park, but the the whole park is huge. So. I don't know if it retains the same name over here, but I'm just going to call that Forest Park. So, here's the Manhattan Bound announcement. I had to record part of this on my own, so hopefully it's good. This is a Manhattan Bound J local train. The next stop is Chauncey Street. Alright, so that's the J announcement. I quite like the Manhattan Bound one. Got another route sign. The sunset looks really cool here. You can see down to the streets there, where they got pretty dark, yeah, even on Moody. So, I'm thinking I'm going to let the sunset drop now. So you can just see the sun is just dipping, and it's going to be gone soon. So, Broadway Junction, Broadway Junction, and then over here, there's an exit, but it's closed. Probably was closed a long time ago. So exit other end of platform. You'd have to go back there to exit this station. And it looks like the moon is rising and the sun. Oh, I like that. I'm going to leave it like this because that's cool. So Broadway Junction. But yeah, so the sun's going to be gone soon. And the moon's like that. I think that looks cool. So we're going to leave it like this for the rest of the tour. You can walk over here if you really wanted to. You could literally just walk down onto the tracks. Uh, that's too close. I'm just going to break that then of course I just illegally walked onto the tracks and you can literally just walk to Chauncey Street <laughs> there this track connects over to the L there's a bumper there as well for some reason then it goes over to the East New York yard over there so if we go over 
we'll go over there and then we're gonna come back to the other side so you guys can see that you can still see Atlantic Avenue that's pretty funny on 32 chunks there's these buildings here as well that are right next to the L for some reason there's a bench here that you can go on of course you can't sit in Minecraft but you can stand and I do now have my winter skin so this is my uh, character and he is in winter themed outfits so exit A, C, and L and of course that's been at in J and Z again another view of the window there another view of this area we're gonna go to the other side and so you guys can hear the uptown no is that up yeah that's uptown uptown announcement so Jamaica Center J and Z announcements it does not say Jamaica Center yet the Jamaica Center announcement happens after Cypress Hills, I believe. So yeah, you can see this platform. It's pretty cool. This time you have the view of just a bunch of streets and Atlantic Avenue. That's Eastern Parkway. All the way down there is Fulton Street. It like moves very fast down because of its angle. So, to Jamaica Center, J all times Z skip stop to Jamaica Center rush hour only. Got a Broadway Junction sign here. Another closed exit, exit other end of platform. You can see down there again on this side. Again, when I walk around and show you guys the buildings here, we're gonna actually see that abandoned exit. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the Alabama Avenue bound announcement. And then we're gonna walk down and you guys can see all the cool buildings I put around here. This is a Queens bound J local train. The next stop is Alabama Avenue. So that was the Queens bound announcement. Again, I, I just like the view there of Atlantic Avenue. I think that's so cool. So yeah, exit ACL. We're going to exit out of the station now. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to tour the area for you guys. So exit A and C. You got to go down here to get to it. I'll give you one final view from up here to the J. One final view to the L. You can actually see over the tracks here. Right here. Yeah, you're kind of over the tracks. Yep, that's pretty cool. So now, let's head out of the station. I'm going to tour the buildings for you guys. I'm going to just head down here. Exit Van Sinderen Avenue. Exit out of these turnstiles again. Let me know what you guys think of this turnstile design or if you prefer the other design that I've been using to this. Just let me know. Although this is kind of harder to do on angles. Well, not undoable. So, now that we've seen the station, let's look at the area surrounding Broadway Junction. So if we go up Van Sinderen Avenue this way, We see, again, the J platform. I put this extra detailing there with the X's. We'll cross over, and then here we are. This is Broadway, and I want to show you guys this abandoned exit, so we're just going to walk under because there's a lot of cool stuff to look at here. So over there is the yard section. Here above, we have the L. There's even detailing under it. See, there's like wood under it there's these wires that I put all over the J line now see down here walk around here there's like this industrial area here if we walk up this way we can go to the end of the J as I have it for now you can see I've already planned out for Alabama Avenue over there and then these tracks just connect over to the yard which is pretty cool so we're gonna walk out let's do yeah we're gonna follow Broadway and then I'll show you guys the side streets because I have a lot of buildings here so we're gonna walk out here and we're just gonna follow Broadway and you guys get a pretty cool view of the underside of the elevated station there and you can see where the tracks Cross over the street. This is Conway Street, right there it says it. 
Looks like the sign got a little bit messed up from when I updated the font, but that's fine. You kind of know what it says anyway. I could fix it, but there's so many signs that I'm just not gonna fix them all. Probably wouldn't be able to, to be honest. So yeah, this crosses over this like lot area. Again, you can just see the L there, really cool. Behind the moon. Yeah, the moon's behind it. Got these crosswalks here. There's like this siding here. I'll show you guys that later. So Stewart Street and Broadway. Then we come to an abandoned exit. That's right guys, this station does have an abandoned exit. Pretty typical for the Broadway line in Brooklyn. There's some turnstiles there. I didn't know what lines would have run here when this closed because I could not find the date it closed. So I just took a map from the 1970s and it says that there was a KK and a QB. So I put those at the entry there. And we have some like dead turnstiles there. So yeah, a pretty sad entrance there. Looks like Atlantic Avenue is getting ready to unload as we get far away from it. Here's the other side of the abandoned mezzanine. I'll just go in there. So yeah, here's the mezzanine itself when you're actually inside. So entry KK and QB. Exit Eastern Parkway and Broadway. This platform used to be called Eastern Parkway when it was originally built. And it was called that for quite some time. If you search up a map of the subway system in the 1970s, it is actually called Eastern Parkway on there. And then, of course, here's Eastern Parkway. It goes straight for quite a while, and then it turns and becomes severely angled for the three and the four. So, Broadway and Eastern Parkway there. It's just a traffic light there. Of course, you can see where that track ends and just becomes three. So, there's a bunch of these houses. A lot of the houses here are identical, but I just thought you guys might want to see this area. So there's nothing inside the houses. We've got this shop here. Then we have another store here. And what appear to be two apartment style houses. Then let's go up to Bushwick Avenue and Eastern Parkway. You have a car dealership here with some cars built by Diamond Axe. Although you might have used Crafty Fox's design, I'm not sure, but there they are, pretty nice, pretty nice cars there, got some cones over here, you got a really cool view of the station here, I quite like that view, and it's pretty much thumbnail worthy, you got the cemetery over here, in Forest Park. You have a uh, lazy attempt at a pathway over here. I was not going to put the whole pathway there. But I just wanted to see if I could cheaply do it with a world edit. But yeah. Didn't turn out that well because of the tree stumps. And in the cemetery. The gravestones don't actually go that far here. Yeah. It's just like a, a tree area. For some reason, these trees are fine, but these ones, like, died. <laughs> they all died back. They were way puffier before, and they looked way better, but now they're just dead. And some of them have floating leaves. Cool view of Broadway Junction there. You can, you can even see the J from here. Look how cool that is. There's the yard. We'll walk over to that. We're not actually going to go in it. Here's a Popeyes built by Diamond Axe YT. You can see his channel in my channel list on my channel. So yeah, here's his Popeyes. You actually have people here for the first time. These are probably the only people on this map. Of course, there's there's so what? We've got five. I thought there were four. All right, so we've got five people in here, and they're all identical twins. No, they're not. So, you can see a Broadway Junction again there. That's really cool. The yard goes over here. The yard's going to be visible from Alabama Avenue, probably. When I tour Alabama Avenue, I might have Broadway Junction visible as well, because I think that'd be cool. So, 
So if we run over here, down Bushwick Avenue. This, if I'm correct, yeah, this was set up by Diamond Axe as well. He built some of the buildings that were over here. So you can get regular gas for $2. That's an interesting logo. Oh, this is a Dunkin' Donuts. Cool. So he set up a Dunkin' Donuts there. And again, more more gas. I don't know what BP is. It's the logo for this gas company. Although I'm sure if you live in Brooklyn or Queens, you probably see these all over. And it says regular $2. So we'll head over here towards Bushwick Avenue, Aberdeen Street. There's some U-Haul trucks here. I'm just gonna, I'll show this part last. So that is an area you can cross under the L train. Got this area, this was set up by, was this set up by, uh, who set this up? No, this must have been set up by Diamond Axe because I don't remember that putting those. So Diamond Axe set up this building or no, I think, no, I think I set up the building and he set up the logos and the cars. All right, so then we have these identical townhouses as well, or no. I don't know what type of house this is, guys. Let me know if you know what this is, but I see them in Brooklyn a lot. Then, of course, Eastern Parkway dies completely here and hits a wall over there at Forest Parks Cemetery. We've got this area here, which I think is cool. Pretty cool view of Broadway Junction from right here. Sorry guys, I'm just seizing the opportunity for a thumbnail. <laughs> because this area has got some pretty sick thumbnails all around. And when I do the J-Trend full ride, you're going to be able to see all these buildings too. Then we can walk over here, more on Bushwick Avenue. There's these buildings. The chunks glitched over here. I had set this area to snow to see what it looked like. And then some of the chunks would not go back. So there's some snow over here. It actually snows here now. So, yep, cold taiga. It snows over here. So, yeah, just an uh, interesting thing. It will snow there on those two chunks. Then let's head back out here. You can see the J line there. That's what that is, and there's the bumper as well. I set up these houses as well, and this area. You can see Broadway Junction up there in the distance. Really cool. Down here at Bushwick Avenue, you do have the Bushwick Avenue Aberdeen Street subway station. If you guys want to see the tour of that, you'll have to watch it separately. Does this do anything? No, okay. I thought it was gonna like kill everything if I hit it. So yeah, got this gas station I built. Pretty nice. Now let's make our way back to Broadway Junction and the tour. So, on this street, what street is this? To South Street, okay, so that is Aberdeen Street. Where does, how far does Aberdeen Street go? So Aberdeen Street ends at the J and it goes over there. That is this, there's like this stone thing that the L goes under. And then you can even see the portal there. That's the portal for the L when it comes outside. Again, Bushwick Avenue, Aberdeen Street over there. You can see the J. You can't see Chauncey Street. Surprising. You can see Broadway Junction over there. I think that's really cool. You can consistently see Broadway Junction. All right, so we're gonna head back and wrap up the video. So again, final look down Eastern Parkway. All right, let's head over. Behind here, there is a outlet street. We'll go through the other way, the the secret entrance. So this is the L portal right here. Although we just showed you guys the other one. So 
yeah, showed that, and again, you can see the cemetery there, pretty cool looking. Head over here, got these, I think they're auto repair shops, and there's a door there. Door to nothing. Got this steel fence here, there's just uh, a lot behind it, and of course, there is the L train tunnel. Then if you go over here, there is a secret crossover. See, on this side, you can't go through without going through here. You go right under the L tracks. Never walked under in real life, but it'd probably be cool to see that. Then, of course, there's this house, fenced off. It has missing wheels in real life. So, I guess it's just floating now. On Google Maps, like, the, the wheels were literally gone from this car. And we go back here, back to the station. There's this house as well. Looks more like, maybe that's an apartment. Although I don't understand how these small apartments function. All right. So that was the tour of Broadway Junction. Oh, we passed the abandoned exit. Cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was a long time coming. But the station was finally completed. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on the video. Comment something, of course. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.